Our state committee, please raise your hand. We'll start. We'll start with Bob and then. Um, very important question. How was your first Christmas with your daughter? Jeez, that was amazing. Thank you. Santa Claus definitely came to our house. Thank you. <laughs> like really heavy on my heart. The DC Democratic State Committee organized a toy drive. We were able to collect 250 toys, um, sponsor over 15 families. And with the leftover toys, um, we, well, a couple of us went to Highland Dwellings. We're knocking on doors to pass out the toys. And I met this um, older gentleman who just buried his wife who died of a heart attack at 38 years old. Um, and I asked someone that I knew in that community, you know, about that incident. She said, started pointing at all these houses in the community where black women under 50 years old have recently died in the last 12 months. So, and it, it was very alarming for me. Um, it shocked me. And I wanted to know, like, are we collecting statistics on this? And is there any talk about maybe a black women's health initiative? Um, this wasn't my, gonna be my initial question, but it's been like really heavy on my heart and I wanted to know um, your thoughts about that. Well, I don't obviously know the specifics of, of what happened, but we point to heart disease. Heart disease is still among the, the, the main killers of black women. Uh, cancers in the district among black women are more fatal um, than they are among their, their white counterparts um, as well. Uh, the other big issue uh, that we're very focused on uh, with black women is maternal and infant health. Um, so the answer to your question is yes. I was actually talking to our health director and she um, has some specific um, and chronic diseases that we're gonna be doing more promotion around to get people into care earlier. So a lot of what we've done uh, in, our, in our system over even beyond the four years that I've been mayor is try to connect people uh, to insurance. And what we have learned is that that doesn't always connect people to care. Um, and so we need to get doctors closer to people uh, and close the gap. Um, I, I call it the kind of the medical literacy gap, but it, it's more than that. It's a social gap that goes with it too. Uh, that people fear going to the doctor. People fear doctors. People fear knowing what's wrong with them, so they avoid going to the doctors. Uh, so it's a whole a lot that we have to do around education and connecting people um, to care. We have done some of that um, by improving our 911 service <coughs> so that we're getting doctors to people um, and we're getting people to emergency rooms faster. Um, but we know that people don't get their best care by going to an emergency room. So how we're connecting people is important. In the new year, uh, let me talk about uh, the final point about maternal and infant health. I hosted a summit uh, in the early fall, I think September, where we brought experts from around the country. We invited so many people. We had over 1,200 providers, women, activists participate in the summit. Uh, and as a result of what we learned, we're gonna put together um, a mini commission, if you will, to focus our efforts on getting uh, women uh, care, not just at the point that they're pregnant, but at any point that they think they are thinking about becoming pregnant so that we can get uh, we can get more pregnancies to term, healthier babies and babies that are thriving.